Hey guys, welcome back to uh, What a Mess Railroad. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, one of the reasons why is we went to the uh, cottage for a week, so who wasn't around doing much. And kind of a little bit busy with the house and stuff, and odds and ends of stuff, and whatever, you know. So anyway, I thought I would uh, make a video since it's been a while. And uh, while I was at the cottage, uh, as usual, I uh, decided to work on uh, a couple models while I was there. This is the uh, Rojos, Merchant Rojos 2. Uh, a couple parts broken off. Um, I went to take a picture on the deck and it was the last day and we put everything away and the chairs were kind of like folded up against the table and I tripped over one put a big gash in my leg and this one kind of went flying and it uh, really held up well only uh, three parts broke off so I just never got around to putting them on so this is the uh, row house uh, I think that's two or three because this I got two and three yeah that one's two anyway it's two and three anyway um, I started this one also, uh, unfortunately, the window here is broken, and this window here is broken. Uh, what I plan on doing is probably getting like a little piece of wood to make it look like plywood, and it was patched up, waiting to be repaired and stuff. I haven't finished this side of the building since white is really a pain in the butt. Uh, I was using the, um, what was I using? Um, I was using this white here. Uh, only problem is, is when you're painting and you go to put a second coat on, if you're not really quick or whatever, it peels back off again. So what I planned on doing is getting some uh, some more Citadel. This is what I painted the green in. Seems to work better with a brush. So I'm going to get some white in that and see how that works out. So right now I've just left it. And here I started... I put together, haven't painted or anything, is uh, the gas station. Uh, started the Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, missing a part. Got to call Walters for that. Jeez, almost every kid I get is either broken or got a part missing. Starting to get a little annoying, actually. Uh, I went to the uh, went to the hobby shop. I picked up uh, five pieces of track, so I put, was coming in here, I've done the piece that goes around here, that doesn't look like a very good connection, didn't notice that, I'll have to straighten that out, and I picked up a few cars from China, and oh, I picked up some ballast to do some of the uh, roads, so I got this parking lot done. Large areas are harder to do than the roads, I'll tell you that. But, uh, yeah, I'll get that finished. So, yeah. I forget what I paid for these. Not a lot. I don't know, probably $15, $20 Canadian for 10 cars. These are for the auto port. Kind of fill in. And then, uh, of course, I was on eBay, as everybody knows. I like my eBay. Uh, there was a gentleman in Quebec who was selling the uh, um, what do you call these things? Oh my god, railroad crossing signs, lights, signals. That's it. Here we go. And uh, he had one up uh, for bid for fifteen dollars U.S. I bid on it. You know, fifteen bucks. Never thought nothing of it. Of course, nobody else did. So I picked up uh, that. Uh, he emailed me, said he had three more. So he'd sell the four of them uh, with shipping and everything included for $60 US, which just arrived actually. And I have one my set here. Um, what happened was I broke one of these, but as a bonus, he sent me uh, ones that are like missing little signs. Um, this one is busted, and of course this is the one I broke. See, I snapped the thing there, you know, really pissed off when I did that, but you know how that goes. So now, I have five of these, 
and uh, a couple extra. If I find little signs, I can have six. The little cross X signs, which I shouldn't be too hard to find, a little X sign like that. So I'll have another set, which will be awesome. Hopefully I won't need any more of those. So yeah, that was a great find I found. Uh, yeah, like I said, other than the parking lot, a uh, few models. Oh, and I picked up another uh, uncoupler by Rapido. And, oh, I picked up a uh, container. Here. The, so I just got another container put on there. Uh, haven't uh, done the uh, apartment building yet. Uh, so, yeah, really nothing's changed other than that. Just a update of the couple things I picked up and a few of the models I put together and I've actually now hit over 300 subscribers which is great never thought I'd end up with uh, that many so what I figured I would do is have a competition for the uh, 300 subscribers and give away one kit out of uh the bunch I have, I haven't picked it out yet. I got a couple duplicates, uh, and no, it's not going to be the extremely expensive ones. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, since it's uh, those, I'm waiting to put on my layout. Uh, I mean, none of Walters are really cheap either, but I figure I'm going to have one of them. I'm thinking maybe this one here. Actually, if I can get it out. Well, you know. Anyway, it's the Don Don drive through drive-in. I'm thinking of that one there. Sorry, I'm only going to give out one, one prize, I think. So, anyway, guys, so this is just an update and probably the upcoming contest. So, anyway, this video is getting long and I'm rambling a little too much again. So, until next time, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.